Good morning. Today we are working on lesson three. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice some simple addition and multiplication problems. Let's go ahead and start. You should be on page 135. Lesson three, practice A is what it says on top of your book. I'll kind of show you just like that, okay? Let's move this back up. All right, let's look at number one. Number one says six plus six. We know six plus six is 12. Instead of saying six plus six, we can also say two groups of six. Two groups of six. Two times six is also 12. Two plus two is four. You can also say there are two groups of two each. Two times two is four. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. You can also say, instead of that, you can say 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 5 each. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. 3, 6, 9. Or you can say there are 3 groups multiplied by 3 each. 3 times 3 is 9. This is just like saying there are 3 groups, and inside each group there is the number 3. 3 times 9, 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 2, 7 times 2 is saying there are 7 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And inside of each group there is a number 2. So 2 times 7 is 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 2 times 7 is saying that there are two groups, 1, 2. Inside of each group, there is the number 7. 2 times 7 is 14. 7, 14. So that means 7 times 2 is the same as 2 times 7. 7 times 2 is equal to hmm, times 7, 2 times 7. 3 times 4, that means there are 3 groups, group 1, group 2, group 3 groups, and inside each group there is the number 4, 4, 8, 12. So 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 means there's 4 groups, and inside each group there is a 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. That means 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3 because both of our answers were 12. 3 groups of 4 is the same as 4 groups of 3. 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3. All we're doing is we're changing the place of those numbers. Just like when we are adding, we would say 3 plus 2 is 5 and then 2 plus 3 is still 5. When we change the placement of our numbers, our answers does not change. This is the same for multiplication. When we said 7 plus, I'm sorry, 7 times 2 is 14, and then we switch them around, we said 2 times 7, our answer is still 14. Therefore, we can say 7 times 2 is equal to 2 times 7 because both of these represent the number 14. Let's look at letter G. Letter G is saying 8 times 6 is equal to 6 times what? Remember these numbers are just switched around. Instead of 8 times 6, we're saying 6 times you guessed it, 6 times 8. Let me go ahead and write my answer down. 8 times 6 is equal to 6 times 8. Let's do letter H. 9 times 7 is equal to what times 9? So we're taking our 9 times 7 and flipping it. Now it's saying 7 times 9. 7 times 9. So this is writing our multiplication equations in two different ways. This is one way, this is a second way, but our answers are the same. 
Let's take a look at number two. Number two says, looks like a USB stick, something times five. So how many groups of five are there? Let's check how many groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. This is one group that has five inside of it. Here is my second group, my third group, my fourth group, fifth group, and sixth group. So there are six groups, and inside each group there is the number five. One, two, three, four, five. Six times five is what? Well, let's count and check. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So six times five is 30. This is still six groups of five. This is still six groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of five, five each. If I wanted to write this a different way, in a different equation, I could have said there are five groups of six equals 30. Let's see if we can draw a picture to represent five groups, okay? So I would draw them this way this time. I would say this is group one, this is group two, group three, group four, there's group five. Did you see that? There are five groups and inside of each group there should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five groups of six still equals 30. So this means, I'll write it on my dry erase board, six groups of five is equal to five groups of six. I think down here, they just wanted you to be able to plug in both sides of the numbers, which we did that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next page. Word problems. Yes, I love word problems. That's awesome. Let's work on some word problems. Number three says, write two different multiplication equations to find the number of clownfish. Two different ways. So let's see how many groups we can make. So for example, I'm going to start. Remember, your groups have to be having equal numbers inside of them. So here's my first group, my second group, and here's my third group. I said I have three groups of how many clownfish inside each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three groups of seven equals 21. So I'm counting them by sevens because there's seven in each, seven, 14, 21. Now it's said to write two different multiplication equations, so I'm going to write a different way, and the other way would be to say instead of three groups, I can start with seven groups, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven. I can say I have seven groups, and inside each group I have one, two, three, Seven groups of three equals 21. This time I am counting them by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. And there is my 21, okay? So three times seven, flipped it, seven times three for the second different multiplication equation. Number four, write two different multiplication equations to find the number of bowls. Again, we're gonna write two different equations. I'm going to start by making my groups. Group one, group two, group three, group four. I have four groups. Multiply that by how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six. There is six in each group. So I'm going to write my six here, four groups, six inside of each equals four times six. So I'm counting by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24. Four times six is 24. Now I'm going to flip it and write another multiplication equation. So instead of four times six, it's gonna be six groups of four. 
which should still be 24. How can I show six groups in my picture? Here's my group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, six groups. And inside each group should be four bowls. One, two, three, four. Six times four is 24. Let's look at the last one on this page. It says, write two different multiplication equations to find the number of beans. All right, let's make some groups. Here's group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. So I have, let me bring this down a little bit more. I have five groups, one, two, three, four, five. And inside of each group, how many beans do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight beans. Now I'm going to count them by eights. And if you don't know how to count by eights, which we haven't learned yet, we can simply add all of these eights. Eight plus eight is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. Let's add 10, 20. 6 plus 6 is 12. 10, 20, 30, 32, plus the 8, 40. So 5 times 8 is 40. I'm going to do that addition one more time so you can see it a little bit better. I had 8 plus 8, plus 8, plus 8, plus 8. 5 eights. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I said 8 plus 8 is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. Then I added the 6 plus the 6 and got a 12. And then I also have my 8. Now I'm going to add all of the 10s first. 10, 20, 30. Now I'm going to add the ones that are left over, 38, 39, 40. And that's how I came up with 40, okay? Just like that. So we wrote five times eight, we said five groups of eight. What's a different, a second way to write this multiplication is to flip it, right? We had five times eight, now we're gonna say eight times five. So now we're gonna have eight times five, and our answer is still going to be 40. Eight groups. I'm going to group them this way. Group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven, group eight. Eight groups, and inside each group there is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to count them by fives, which is a lot easier than counting by eights. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And there is my 40. So when you see your number five times eight, and you know you can count easier by fives, you can count it that way because you know the answers will still be the same. Let's look at the next page, problem number six. Problem number six, it says, there are three cotton swabs in one can. How many cotton swabs are in three cans? Okay, I'm seeing my cans and my cotton swabs. And we're going to write a multiplication equation to find our answer. How many groups are there? One, two, three. There's three groups multiplied by how many are in each? Three cotton swabs in each equals three times three is nine. Three, six, nine. Does that make sense? Or you could have said there's three plus three plus three. That would still be nine, but this is a lot longer and they want a multiplication equation. This would have been addition, so we wanna make sure we're putting a multiplication equation that looks like that, okay? Letter B, there are 10 boxes of oranges. Wow, 10 boxes, so I'm gonna write 10 multiplied by, there are four oranges in each box equals, how many oranges are there in all? I'm also going to draw a picture of what that would look like, 10 boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I have 10 boxes of oranges. There are four oranges in each box. So in each box, there is four oranges. So you would have to add four plus 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 four. Instead of writing all of that, you could just write 10 times four. Now you can see there's 10 groups of four or four groups of 10, which is easier. Four groups of 10. Because remember, if I were to flip it, I would get the same answer, four groups of 10. Which would be easier for you to add or count by? Fours or tens? This is a lot quicker and easier, and we know how to count by, ten, by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. That was a lot easier, right? So we're going to write an answer, 40. Let's do letter C. One brick weighs five kilograms. How much does two bricks weigh? So we have two bricks, one brick, two bricks. Each brick weighs five kilograms. So this is saying there are two groups or two bricks multiplied by each of them has five inside of it. Two times five is 10, five, 10. Or you could have written five times two and your answer would still be 10. You would just have flipped it, right? Letter D, one milkshake costs $3. How much will 10 milkshakes cost? So let's make our 10 milkshakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 10 milkshakes. One milkshake costs $3. That means each of them will have a three inside. How much will all 10 milkshakes cost? So you can either count all of these and say there are 10 groups of three, then you're counting by threes, or you can say you can flip this and say there's three groups of 10, which would be the same thing. You would have three groups. Let me bring that down a little bit. You would have three groups and inside each group you would have a 10. Which is easier to count? This or this? It's a lot easier to count by tens, so you can just say 10, 20, 30 and know that your answers will be the same. This is also 30, and this is also 30. Let's move this over. I didn't realize you're not seeing the rest of my board. There we go, okay? So for letter D, we're going to write down 10, times three equals 30, or you can also write down three times 10 equals 30. Both would be correct. Letter E, June walked two miles every day for seven days. What is the total distance that she walked? So June is walking two miles every day for seven days. I'm gonna draw the seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She walked seven days every day, so each day she walks two miles. That means I'm going to put my twos inside. What is the total distance all together? What is the total distance that she walked? So instead of saying two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two we're gonna say there are seven groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of two miles each. Seven times two equals. Seven times two is 14, or you can say two times seven, which is just flipping it. You would say there are two groups of seven each, and this would also give you 14. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. They are both 14, so both multiplication equations would be correct. Down here, we're gonna write down seven times two equals 14, or two times seven also equals 14. Let's see what's on the next page. Oh, 
next page is another lesson so that means we were finished wow that was a fun quick math lesson i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did now you are going to take out your workbooks and you are going to open to lesson three exercise three Is what you did yesterday and here's exercise three perfect so in exercise three you are going to write down how many groups of how many are inside and the total and answer some multiplication problems and then you're also going to work on remember um, actually I'm going to just do one of this with you let me bring this camera down remember that both sides of these equations have to be equal because there's an equal sign here so if you add all of these eights and you write your answer here it's going to be wrong you can write your answer in the bottom so you can compare and make sure that they are equal so eight plus eight we just did that on the uh, dry erase board eight plus eight was sixteen eight plus eight was sixteen and then we added the six plus the six and got a twelve and now we added all the 10s, 10, 20, 30, 32 plus the 8 was 40. So we can write our answer 40 here. That means this side of the equation also has to be 40. What times 8 is 40? It's like saying how many groups of 8 gave you 40? How many groups? We can just check here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of 8 gave me 40. So the answer here would be 5. Go ahead and finish that. Remember, you're just flipping. And then you're going to turn to the next page. This page is lots of fun. It says, draw a picture to show each of the following. Three groups of three. So you're going to draw three groups. One, two, three. And inside each group, they want you to draw three. You can just write down the number three. This would be sufficient. So eight groups of two, you're going to draw eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight groups, two in each, because it said eight groups of two, okay? Finish the rest of that, and then you're going to work on this page where you're writing down how many groups of what, and there's two ways of doing it, just like we practiced either three groups of what and five groups of what, and your answer should be the same. Okay, finish working on this page, and then looks like you have a fun little word problem at the bottom, and more word problems in the back. Awesome, you are so lucky. You're gonna get to do some extra word problems in the back. And that is the end. This is the last page for you to work on for your lesson today. Great job, you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.